first at six WMBD is your local election headquarters. Some school board races in Peoria County are still too close to call. Our Shabnam Banesh joins us live from our newsroom now and Shabnam, which of those races are still outstanding? Yeah, Shelby, school board races in Peoria, Dunlap, and Illini Bluffs are neck and neck, with a few dozen votes separating candidates. But there's still hundreds of mail-in ballots left to count. I'm excited. I'm excited because, I mean, there's still a lot of votes out, um, the mail-in ballots, and so there's still a chance for me to win. One week after Election Day, the executive director of the Peoria County Election Commission says they have more than 630 mail-in ballots left to count. School board races in Peoria, Dunlap and Illini Bluff still too close to call. So there's a handful out there that, that could potentially be uh, turned uh, in the coming weeks here. Just 32 votes separate Peoria school board incumbent Martha Ross and challenger Keisha Alexander. Alexander's candidacy was initially challenged in court, but she says it ended up helping instead of hurting. But then that allowed me to be in the spotlight of otherwise I would not have been in had I not been through that. It seemed like it was something that was a negative for the campaign, but it turned out to be a positive for the campaign. So I'm kind of glad it happened. Gannon says a voter turnout was about 15 percent. It's low, but expected. It's underwhelming, but on course. So <laughs> if that makes sense, it's sad, I think, uh, that our turnout doesn't even hit 20 percent in these odd year elections. But historically, that's usually right where we are in these elections. Alexander says she's on the edge of her seat, waiting for those final results. But if I'm elected, I'm going to be really excited about moving forward and, and doing some of the, you know, making some of the changes that I'd like to try to make. I also reached out to Martha Ross, but I have not heard back yet. Gannon says results will be certified on April 18th. All voted mail ballots must have been postmarked by Election Day and received within two weeks to count. Shelby.